A five-time PJ Tour winner and Ryder Cup star has potentially been caught cheating. Now, not in a PJ Tour event at all, but in a local team scramble. This is an interesting story and you are going to want to listen to this. Now, before we get into exactly who it is and what happened, and then together let's sort of come to a conclusion of did he cheat or not, because Twitter is very, very divided on this. Do we have a problem with golf? And let, let me hear me out. Do we think week in, week out, people at our golf clubs that we play, so local golf clubs, are cheating? Whether that's taking a little bit too long when looking for a golf ball, whether that's taking actually a score off, whether that's playing off the wrong handicap, whether that's actually saying they found the ball or they didn't. What? is your opinion on this and I would actually love to hear some of your stories because I reply to all the comments personally so please do pop your stories down below now when you're popping these stories down below please don't name anybody please don't name the golf club I just think this is a really interesting topic because golf is a sport that is based on honesty and trusting not only the, the playing partners that you're playing with but the entirety of the field to work together to play to the rules. Now, at most golf clubs, people play with their mates. And do we think people let their mates get off with a few rules here and there? I would actually love to hear some of these stories. And you know what? We could actually do a video going through all of these. So please do get them down in the comments. I think this is a huge, huge talking point. So guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This is your home of breaking news and hot gossip. So please do consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you never miss a breaking news story. Now, this whole entire story is about JB Holmes, five-time PJ Tour winner and, and I will say, a Ryder Cup, well, I'm going to say star. So if you haven't heard of him, like, don't worry, you might be new to golf. But if you've been watching golf for a while, he will be very much a household name. So this whole story has come because he has played in a local scramble with a few of his friends. Now, this is some of the report and he's claiming, he's claiming... It's a compilation of inaccuracy. So a little bit inaccurate here, a little bit inaccurate there. And he's put a statement out. But first, let's have a look exactly what happened. First things first, JB Holmes was entered under a name of Jonathan Bradley. Now, I would say I totally understand why he could potentially do this. Simply, right? You put JB Holmes and down on a list, people are going to be like, ooh, is that a tour player? Ooh, ooh. He might get bothered. People might get wind of it. People might travel. People might come and go up to him when he's trying to just play a bit of a scramble and comp with his buddies. So that bit I can let slide. But so apparently JB was listed as having a handicap of 8.8. .8. Now, this whole story is coming from a person called Ryan French. And this is who's reported it. He was playing in a scramble that involved a cow cutter. So, for anybody new to what a cow cutter is, I just literally had to Google this. This is exactly what it is. A cow cutter is an open auction held in conjunction with a golf tournament. So, basically, I think, like, buying a team or bidding on a team because you think that team is going to win. Has anybody actually ever played in these? I'm not going to lie. It sounds quite fun. Anyway... Back to the story. So we know that he entered under another name. We know that potentially he was playing off a wrong handicap. And the rules stated you could only have two plus handicap golfers in your group of six. So essentially, not sticking to the rules in this case. Now, let's go through exactly what he responded to this and then what Twitter said. Because I think there are some very interesting points that... Because a cow cut is involved, basically the open auction, this would change the way people bet, the way people buy other teams and where people put their money. So JB Holmes put on Twitter this. Here is the tournament rules and after what actually happened. We were winning at minus 21 after round one and that's how they made the flights. He then put a statement to company this. John Bradley, plus four handicap, was what my friend turned into a joke without my knowledge. So his friend put him down as a different name. Handicaps were not used in this event, nor were strokes given at any time. The event did not check anyone's name or gin. 
to see if they were correct because the premise was bring your best. Each team was allowed to have two plus handicap golfers and we had one, me, we had plus four, we had what? We had a plus four, a one, a four, eleven, a twelve, and a fourteen handicap that were correct and turned into the event. Guessing at mine since I don't actually have one. When I play member guest at my club, they put me at plus four, so that's what I used. My team was winning at minus twenty one after the first day. Neither I nor anyone on my team bought or bid on our team at the Calcutta. So he was essentially saying, like, look, I've not Gone under a different name. I've not put money on my team to try and make some money. I've not even entertained that at all. I was playing for fun, he said, with my friend and had no intention to nor did I attempt to make any money at the scramble. The next day, the person who bought my team found one of the guys I was playing with and asked if we would buy half the bid. I did not buy in, but the other members did. They did not let us participate in the Calcutta, even though no rules were broken. The man that bought our team got his money back. Unfortunately, what was meant to be a bit of fun golf outing with some friends turned in a compilation of inaccuracies. So here it is, right? I don't think he's had any intention simply of making any money. I actually do think he's just gone out to play with his friends and potentially one of his mates has had a little bit of fun. But this is where Twitter got a little bit upset. So we have people on Twitter saying, Come on, there wasn't about the rules of the event. This was about the Calcutta. If people knew you were playing, they wouldn't have bid as much on other teams. Which I think is a really, really fair point. Because if you know a PJ Tour player and Ryder Cup star is taking part in an event, where are you going to put your money? I think there's only one place, right? It's not everywhere else. It's on JB Holmes' team. Other people are here are saying it was a six-person scramble with no handicaps. His game couldn't have had that made that much of an incredible impact. Makes sense. Whole bunch of drama for no reason. Another person comes in. Now, what do you think on this? As I always say, like I love to hear what you think. I'm going to say right now, I think JB Holmes was out there playing with his mates and this is a huge misunderstanding. But I can see, I can see why a few people would be a little bit upset because of the Calcutta. But I genuinely think he has not had any intention of making money, playing for money and taking money off other people. But rules are rules, right? If he's gone and entered under the handicap and he didn't know, always use a different name. Things do look a little bit suspicious. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today on today's breaking news story. Don't forget, Rory's playing tonight and could he get the W? I think this is really, really interesting. So make sure you tune in tomorrow for some more breaking news on Batman Film.